Hey Stephanie, this is Tristan with Big Picture SEO. Uh, I spoke to you on the phone this morning and told you I was going to shoot you over a video showing you some ways that you can boost your online presence. And this is that video. I don't want to take up a lot of your time with this, so I'm going to try and keep it between 5 to 10 minutes. And uh, let's just get straight into it. I want to talk to you about content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll start with content since we're here on your site. Um, content is going to be anything that you find on your website that you can see, so just, you know, the words in your pictures. And you're going to want to make sure that you have, you know, high quality, relevant, and keyword rich content. And what I mean by that isn't like, you know, uh, Frisco, Texas Roofing Company and every other line, or Frisco Roofing, or Roofing in Frisco and every other paragraph or so. You're going to want to try and space it out as much as possible so that when uh, Google comes and indexes your site, they don't think that, you know, you're trying to spam all of these keywords and you're not just trying to get pushed to the top for you know whatever reason they like credibility they like authenticity and they like value so if you're just coming in and trying to sell it's they, they don't like it it's not for them um, so a good rule of thumb is about 1500 to 2000 keywords on a home page alone and I mean that's so you can fit in like 10 to 15 keywords just there as a directory for your entire site but I mean again it's up to your personal preference there's different ways but that's just a good rule of thumb and then also, you're going to want to save your pictures uh, with keyword rich content. So like if we clicked on this and click save image as, most of the time for websites it's going to pop up as some random letters or word, a random word that doesn't really matter. Okay, so roofing since 1923, I mean it has relevance to the picture, but it doesn't have any keyword relevance to what you're trying to rank for. So you would want this to be roofers Frisco, you know. Um, oops, sorry. Roofers Frisco. Uh, that way when Google again indexes your site, they're going to see that you want to be found for this. And you can't really, uh, as long as you're not putting a picture every like, you know, two inches down on your site or so, they're not going to, it's not going to matter to them. It's just another way to be found for, for your keywords. Um, and going through your site, it's really nice. You know, the interface is really easily navigatable. You have a beautiful family if that's your family. I'm sorry if it's not. That must be weird. Um, and yeah, the site is really nice, honestly. The color, it's very bright. Uh, just another, like I said, I would add more content to it. That way you can put in more keywords so you can be pushed in through the ranking and Google knows that you want to be found for this. And if we move over actually to this tool that I like to use called Arifs, we can see how many keywords are being found for it. And it says here 151. And we can go in and look at what keywords are actually bringing you traffic and what position you are for these keywords. So for example, Roofing Frisco, this has a search volume of 400, which means people, 400 people a month search for this at least. And you're in the 13th position, so you get six people a month from this on your page. And the 13th position just means that when you type in Roofing Frisco, you're going to be the 13th website that pops up organically uh, for this search term. And, you know, obviously you're going to want to try and be in the top five, because I don't know about you, when I Google things, I, you know, scroll maybe for a second, and then I'll click on what I need because it's there. Uh, and I rarely ever make it to the bottom of the page of Google, and especially not the second page, which, I mean, if we continue going down, We'll find that, uh, you know, 19, that's getting there. That's the second page. 18 is on the second page. Um, but you're going to want to stay within buyer intent keywords. So things like Roofing in Frisco, Roofing Frisco, Texas. Uh, and there's other ones, you know, like Chimney Replacement, Roof Repair Frisco, things like that. Um, and as you can see, you know, the, you're missing out on a lot of searches here. Again, like uh, Roofing Frisco, Texas, that's another 200. So 600 between the first two. You're in the 11th position and you're getting four. So it was that it's only 10 searches or 10, you're only getting 10 people out of, uh, out of 600 searches. So that's definitely something that you could work on. And a way that you can also help this is with citations. And, you know, a citation is going to also have some stuff to do with your local map pack listing. And if we go down here to your Google My Business, not yours, but the Google My Business section of uh, Google, a citation is just going to be, you know, your company's business name, their phone number, and their address. And you're going to be able to list those throughout the web inside of directories. And a directory is just, you know, websites that let you put them in there, like Yellow Pages and Facebook and Easy Local, Three Best Rated, Expertise, things like that. And so the more citations that you can get out uh, and into directories, the higher you're going to be able to rank within this uh, map pack listing. And this is super important because, you know, when you're Googling stuff on your phone, like a business in general, uh, instead of website, on a, tele, on a cell phone, it's going to pop up as a click to call button, and that's where a lot of these companies are getting their, getting their calls from. Uh, and so it's really important to make sure that you 
produce as many citations as possible. And again, you want to stay relevant within your industry. So you don't want to, obviously, you don't want to go get like a fencing uh, citation. You just want to stay within roofing or roof repair or gutter repair, or things like that. Uh, and if we move down to the organic section of the search engine, you'll see that like here, we have Frisco Roofing Repair, which is going to be your number one competition when it comes to the online search engine. And then you have like BBB, which is just another directory, Yelp, which is a directory, but they're beating out these huge uh, websites because, you know, they're doing something right. And with the organic listing, usually that's going to be backlinks. And if we go back into Eris, we can look at your backlinks. And we can see that you have 259 backlinks. And all that a backlink is, is that, excuse me, all a backlink is, is a website that has a link within it that links back to your website. So say that um, Pizza Hut had a link in its website and it, you know, it said lowerroofingco.com. If I clicked on that link, it would take me back to yours. That's a backlink. And then a referring domain is just um, a website that has a link in it. So it's, you have 63 websites that have links referring back to you and a total of 259 links uh, going back to you. So we can go in and we can see what websites are actually linking to you and uh, where you're getting your power from. And blog spots are always good to have because Google sees that it's like, hey, they're putting value onto the internet without asking for anything back except maybe a link. That's good. More power to them, literally, you know, more power to your website. Um, and if we keep going, we'll see things like directories, or roofing code, Texas roofing deductible law. It's a blog, another blog spot. Uh, for Moomba, that's a directory right there. Keep going down, keep going down directories, blogs. And so you're not doing bad here, but one thing that I would suggest is trying to get in more guest posts and more influential links. And so a guest post is going to be a thing like where you, like a newspaper article or uh, like you go onto a website. It's like a blog, but it's not necessarily a blog. You just go and you post your, uh, sometimes you can just actually get your URL if it's a good website, but you'd have to pay for things like that. But I would definitely look into, into trying to um, up your authoritative backlinks because blogs and, and directories aren't working for you only as it seems and we can actually go and look at your number one competitor which is uh, one more time Frisco Roofing LLC and I was looking through here actually because what's odd about theirs and this is a really good example one more time I didn't even say this I'm sorry um, the most important things about backlinks is that they aren't created equal so you could get you know 500 backlinks after this video to try and beat them out but if they're like random backlinks that have no relevancy towards roofing or anything anything that's within your industry or related to your website, Google's going to see that as spam. And again, spam is the devil to Google. Um, so they only have 152 backlinks, but they're still beating you. And they also have less keywords. But if we go into their keywords, I was showing you earlier that your position is a big, is a big determination of how many people are going to come on your website. So Roofing Frisco, you both are ranking for that. 400 people are searching that a month, but they're in the second position. So whenever you know they search that, they're the second website that pops up, and there's 68 people coming to their website a month just from that. And then Frisco Roofing just reverse it, 400 people as well, but they're and they're also in the second position, and they're getting 58 people a month on their website. And so the KD refers to the keyword difficulty, and the higher it is, the harder it is to rank for. And this is from a zero to 100 ranking. Um, a typical like guide is that zero to five will take you about one to two months to rank for 10 to 15 is going to be like three to six and 15 and above can be a year or longer but it also just depends on you know the 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 competitor site and how they're ranking um, and like looking at them if we go into their backlinks I'll show you just a little bit I was looking through here and it did confuse me because they didn't really have any good backlinks but then I kept going down a little bit more and I did find a guest post um, and I do want to show this to you, so I'll sit here and look for it for just a second. I'll actually pause this and come back when I find it. So here they have a link. It's called How to Overcome Challenges of Taking Your Network Marketing Business Online. And obviously this has nothing to do with roofing. But if we go in here and we look at what this link is, where it takes you, uh, give it a second to load, checking if the site is secure. Uh, you know, it says up here, guest post, add my site. You come in here and you look down. It has a whole bunch of links going to different sites. And all this is doing is giving power to all of these sites. And actually, if we come in and we look for Frisco, you can find right here is Frisco Roofing LLC. And this is where they're getting some of their power from, from guest posts. So you would want to go out and find 
uh, websites like this or influential websites where you can get power from. And that would really help you boost your ranking and it would 100% help you boost your organic ranking and get in front of Frisco Roofing. So I hope that this video was helpful and informative to you. Um, I do offer search engine optimization services. So if you guys feel like this is something you would need help with or, you know, a guide or something, feel free to reach back out to me. And if not, that's okay, but I would appreciate some feedback on the video nonetheless, so I do know that I did help you a little bit. Uh, and I hope you have a good rest of your day and have a good weekend. Thank you.